Okay, guys, before we get right into today's episode of Factions, I'm going to show you something that I found out on the weekend. That's actually kind of some crucial information. Now, some of you may have already known this, but this is just the people that didn't know it, because it was kind of in my comments a lot uh, about whether creepers, TNT, or charged creepers had the best odds of dropping a spawner. And I was interested. I was like, wow, I wonder how this really does work. And I found out that it's actually a little more complex than it is. I mean, I know Minecraft's made of these little weird features. And this is another one of it. So uh, I've made a little board up to show you the difference between uh, how these things work. So let's start things off. There is a way to get 100% of every block blown up, not by your own, like, you know, explosion. Of course, if you're in someone's base, you can't break their blocks up. And that is to try and get a gas to target it. If you get a gas to target a block, it will break nearly 100% of the blocks that it will explode. So that's something to keep in mind. If you want to try and maybe in the nether, try and get a gas to blow something up, that is your best bet right there. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. The next best odd is a creeper. And I look, have a t look at TNT and creepers. There's actually a difference. You have one in four chance of getting the blocks from a TNT. You have a one in three chance of getting it from a creeper. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you're trying to raid someone and you have either the chance to do a creeper or a TNT and it's like an IG, definitely go the creeper. You got a little bit, like a 10% more odds to try and get it. It's just good to go with. So yeah, TNT is one in four. And mysteriously, this one over here, beds are one in five. They're one in five. So if you're in the nether and want to try and do like a bed raid, because I know there's a kind of a, a meta, um, then you can actually one in five. It's worse than TNT, but hey, whatever. Next and last but not least, charged creepers are one in six. Now, when I go back to that raid that me and Vic did, we actually used charged creepers for the most part. And like true fashion, we didn't get any of those creepers. And that's good. I mean, well, it's bad, but... I mean, it works out. We didn't get four of those spawners because I think nearly all of them were charged. You actually have less odds of doing so. So if you don't need the radius from a charged creeper, I would suggest just making a normal creeper like almost all the time. You're losing 30% odds by doing that. So that's just a little info for you guys that didn't know already. I think we're going to be sticking to these guys. I wonder if we can get like gas spawn next to try and get gas. That could be interesting. But anyways, guys, that is a nice little thing. Let's get into today's episode. Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Lachlan here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Treasure Wars. Now, this is actually my first solo episode. So I was currently sick today while Vic wanted to film an episode, and I was just like, mate, go on without me. I really just, I just can't recall right now. I was so sick. I've gotten really good at the last couple hours. I had some Nurofen, you know, had a shower. Hot showers, man, hot showers are just so good for when you're sick. I accept... Sometimes I overdo it. I remember last time I was sick, I had like five sh hot showers in a day, wasted all the hot water. Fan wasn't happy about that one. But uh, anyways, welcome back to Factions. So if you enjoyed that little info thing at the start of the episode, let me know. I did that with my Crazy Craft episode as well. I just like testing these things in my comments because I swear to God, it's always been, it's the same thing as like the Battle Axe and the Royal Guardian Blade. People just don't know. And I still have to go back and test that because a lot of people were saying that apparently uh, the zombies have no armor, but that's for a different series. So don't worry about that. Welcome back. And uh, first thing, I've been doing a little bit of acro grinding off screen uh, before I start this episode. I've been chatting into the chat. Look at these graceful landings. Getting graceful landing like three times in a row. I didn't really need to bring out the beacon. I was only doing it for a little while. Uh, I didn't have my faithful boots on. I put them back in my PVs because I did the intro after as well. So I put these back on. Uh, wait, wait. Yeah, these are my feather falling floor boots. So of course you guys know you get double XP when you put feather falling on. Uh, I don't know why I put them on extra. I just thought why not. And uh, if you want to have a look at my acrobatics level, it is acrobatics. We are currently at uh 450 so i stopped on an even number but uh it's becoming a lot harder to get xp now because obviously your xp pool is just so much harder. look it's 14,000 xp for the next level and i didn't have uh things on there you go 451 so uh that gives my dodge chance i didn't look at it on the screen it gives my dodge chance to now go up to 11 and uh, nearly a half nearly 11 and a quarter percent i'm gonna dodge every hit so just a little bit more than 10 percent it's not bad, you know, free dodge chances, might as well take them, especially when someone comes at you with a gold knife. Uh, so what we're going to do in today's uh, solo episode, I'm not too sure, I really wanted to focus on our armor. Um, I know that uh, our, 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 our armor is very weak right now, we need to try and find a way so that I don't get A, bursted in the war zone, and B, like I have to do fights and wars at some stage in the series, and I can't do it with the set that I'm rocking right now. Um, and then the third thing I want to preface with you guys this weekend. There is an awesome update. This, is, <laughs> this weekend. There is an awesome update coming to treasure wars. You guys are gonna love it. Get ready. It's gonna be sick um, So anyways, I'm thinking let me look through my PVs to have some uh, have a look at some armor that I've already caught as well What is this spawner? Is that the cow spawner? That's oh, a cave spider spawner. 
That's right, we got that cave spider spawner. Um, with it being said, at the same time, because I expect, uh, expect maybe charged creeper eggs to sort of go down in price after this video, because it just, I wasn't known. I looked it up on the wiki, it's legit. Like, they literally have less odds, like double, like half the odds of a uh, normal creeper. But uh, like I said, it still has their own situational like use. Like if you need more power to blow up a door or more power to get two spawners at once, like if you don't have anything else, then charge creepers will still work. And we may be modifying those in the future for our server as well. Um, but uh, let me just go ahead and uh, list this cave spider spawner. I think we can only get like 5k for it. So let's just go 5k. That's, that's a long shot as well. And then I want to try and sell these charged creeper eggs. So I know you can't sell, you have to sell them like one at a time. Uh, or you could sell them as like a three bundle or something, but I'm not like that. Uh, so I think we'll go for like 50k. Let me have a look to see what other people are selling their uh, charged creepers. Oh, look, there you go. There you go. UBs has purchased my cave spider spawner. Cheers, fam. I really needed that. Well, a zombie spawner is actually going for 20k a piece right now. Skelly's 25. Um, and then maybe look at some runes to purchase. I know we really want to try and get that set up. But specifically our sword and our axe. The one that we're going to use. Work on it. You know, rename it our salty blade, whatever. And get it up because that's what we really need to do. Let's have a look. We can purchase some loot crates if we really want to. Um, at the moment, bow wise, I was also doing a little bit of uh, blaze farming. because my levels have gone up a little bit. 57k, so nothing too you know, crazy. Of course, 52k because I got the other 5k from the blaze spawner that we just sold. Um, so apparently Vic told me what he did in his episode that we went out yesterday. He uh, he did a little bit of solo war zoning and he got destroyed. So I'm not going to do that. I have worse armor than Vic, I think, in the series. So uh, not a good idea for me. Uh, there are no creeper eggs up on this AH, I believe. So um, looks like we'll have to go ahead with our... Look at that, soul gems. I'm pretty sure that's overpriced. That's not how much they really are. I'm almost certain of it. All right, so there's some, ooh, there's some walkies going up in the AH as well, boys. Um, let's go ahead and let's sell our, let's just go 50K, I guess. Uh, 50K seems a little light. There's someone for like a lot more than that. Let's go 60K. 60K and uh, an egg. So let's go 60, let's go 65, just in case that one just flies off the market. And then we'll go 65 again. I don't know why I increased it by another 5K, but uh, if you guys don't know where I got those charge creeper eggs from, I got it from a mythic loot crate that I did with Vic uh, the other day. Very, very rare drop that was. It was like a two or 3% drop. So that was very, very lucky. Um, update on the pet situation. We might actually go buy a pet today. I'm actually down, we've got enough money. Let's go buy a new basic pet. 57k, let's go do it. Hopefully we can sell some of those as well. So home, home. Let's go to the admin shop. And let's buy ourselves a new pet. Hopefully there's some left. I think it's got No, it's gonna be refilled, damn it. Well we could go for a special pet, but ah oh, damn, I don't actually really want to do a special pet at this stage. Uh legendary pets. Oh god. I really would love an iron golem or a creeper pet. Cause me and Vic still have that pet race as well. I'm gonna try and get these refilled. I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, there we go. It has sold all of them. Spewguard, Spewguard123. I wonder if he's a Vicstar fan. Bought two of them. And Jack kicking your ASS44 for 60,000. Thank you very much. Okay, so my boy Vac has come on and refilled the common pet loot crates. So let's go ahead, buy one of our treasure pets, minus 50k. And uh, let's go for the one on top of the cow, because I actually do want a cow. Let's have a look what we want here. Obviously, we don't want the chicken pet. It's a double kind of suck. Now, I wouldn't prefer a sheep pet, but like I do need one to catch up to Vic. He's kind of got two. So I'll take a sheep pet if I can get it. Uh, cow pet, removes all negative potion effects. I mean, that could be kind of good. There is some enchants that do that, so it's kind of not that powerful. And then the pig one, the increased food saturation is apparently the most prevalent common pet because there's, there's nothing that does that. Although I think there might be an enchant that does it as well. I'm not too sure. But uh, anyway, that we'll just keep that our you know hot bar, see if it hatches. But in the meantime, we've made a lot of our money back. We're up to nearly 200k. That's after buying a pet because of that loot we got from the charged creeper. So let's have a look at our set. Now I like to work off the uh, paladin set. So I got this off a drop in the war zone at one stage. I think I did with Vic. Um, and uh, essentially what it is, it has these protector, plate mail, and ages. It's got three, three, and two. That's really good. If, if I had Aegis 3, that'd be even better, but I can't really complain. We, of course, have all of these, you know, runes right here. I'm going to quickly go ahead and sort through which I think are good and which are bad.
Wow, I really do not know what to say. There are so many shocking runes in this. I'm just going to take them all out and sell them. They're really bad. Like, that's probably the... Actually, I'll probably put that in medium. So, I've organized them into three stacks. Good, like, okay, but still risky. And then just downright horrible. And I've been... A, look at that. These are these destroy raids. Look at that. 12%, 96. I've, I've gone through them. They're not even that good in chats. I think there was one assassin one that could have been decent. Uh, where is it? Yeah, assassin 2. It's got a very high destroy rate. I'm, I'll keep that in the maybe, actually, because that could be pretty good. But look at these. These are just bad. Like, just double check with you guys. I might have made... Ah, uh, yeah, no. The high destroy rate just, just destroys it. So, sell hand. I think that sells all the runes for me. No, it doesn't. I have to sell them all. Wait, I think I, if I do sell uh, emerald, maybe that picks up all of them. I don't know. Uh, you do not have that item. Okay, well, I guess I have to go ahead and sell hand all of these manually, which is going to be great. So, back in a second. You know what? I think I have a smarter idea. I put everything away in my inventory that I don't want to sell. I'm just going to do sell inventory, and that'll just sell the whole lot of them. Bang. There we go. How much do we make up all that? Because I sold some zombie flesh and whatnot. Now we're back up to nearly 200k. We're just a K off. That's fine. So let's grab the stuff back out of our PV. Let's go. Of course, getting that egg back in there. So how much are we down to that? Six minutes until that hatches a brand new pet. So we're nearly at 200k. And the, cut, the rank we're at right now is the hero rank. Let me just check how much it is to our next rank. It's very expensive. And of course, this is in our quest to try and get the fly rank from God. I'm nearly at the legend rank, and that's pretty good. I reckon I'll take that. If we can get ourselves an IG, I was talking to Vic, like, we need an IG soon enough. We need to try and get these golds that are just golds. We just need to try and get the money that is coming with the IG supplies. So, hopefully, in the very near future, we can look at that. Uh, what else am I missing here? I'm missing my. God sword. No, I've already got my God sword here. That's just for my looting sword. Get some of these out. So for the remaining one of these gems, I'm not sure if we're going to apply any of it to the sets that we have at the moment. I'm just trying to think. We want to try and go for some of the best enchants. Bloodthirsty and Wildmark. They're really not that great. Assassin 2, like I said, could be used. Let me just try and solidify which, like, like sword we want to use in this series. That's a pretty good kill confirm sword. That's all it's good for. Once again, another kill confirmed sword. That's all it's good for. Uh, that's a pretty bad sword. Honestly, like, it was good. It served its time. But I'm just going to start cleaning them out now. If I don't need them, I'm throwing them away. This is a good pickpocketing sword. Very, very good pickpocketing sword. Um, and this is just a trash sword. So see you later. These are my... Uh, what are these? Oh, these are my actual boots that I wear. Not the... Not the... Feather falling ones, which to be honest, really aren't that good. We need to try and get jump and speed on them. So if I can try and find some jump runes, let's see what they got to sell on the AH. Normally they only sell good runes. Uh, zombie spawners, zombie spawners, K spawners. Let's see, curse, it's plate mail. There's bad runes. Come on, you guys sell some good ones, buddies. Come on. What are these runes? Life as light. That's a good lifestyle rune. But and he knows it because he's put it down for 100k. Damn it! What a jag! I'd love to chuck life still one of my good swords. It's a very crucial uh, like enchant to have. Um, enrage. That's a very good enrage rune. Um, uh, dodge two. That's pretty good. 7k for a very high. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that right now. That's not bad. Um, even though it's only dodge two, I think dodge. Three, or does it go higher than that? I'm not too sure. Is your best chance, but uh, it sells at a reasonable price. So we're going to go ahead and grab one. Uh, let's chuck it on our... What doesn't have dodge? Like, honestly, the more dodge... I'd honestly be... I kind of don't want to waste the slots on it and want to go for a... Um, like, uh, see, I don't know if I'm going to keep this helmet. It's only got health boost one. It's bad. Um, if I could try and unlock the Paladin class, I would to try and... Wait, Crown of a Cree. Yeah, that is... I believe that is the Paladin one. I could be wrong, though. could be a different one. Um, but it's got Life Essence. Honestly, let's go with it. Let's put it on a chest plate. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Go, bang. Bet. There we go. Dodge 2 as well. Just a little bit more tanky. Extra chances to dodge. It was only 7k. Well, that's not too bad. Uh, let's see what else we have on the AH to particularly pick up. Uh, so that soul gem, he's still trying to sell it for a ridiculous amount of price. Don't know why, uh, but these are pretty much all the same ones. Oh, dodge three for 25k. This is why you wait. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get this as well because I think uh, multiple dodges stack. So I think, I'm not too sure. I know this sounds really worth that much. Hmm. When I saw that dodge one, I was like, oh, I'm never going to see another one. Literally seconds later, another dodge one. Like, I can't believe that. Uh, there's some dodge ones. Silk touch picks actually go for a bit. You can probably make a little bit of coin doing that. And then this guy trying to chuck in iron swords for 20 bucks. I love people to do that. Yeah, nether stars are actually quite a, like, kind of expensive. Um, do we actually have another star? I thought we had two of them at one stage. Um, I guess not. But uh, I will go ahead and use this on my helmet, I guess. It sounds like a 
Yeah, good shout, because I'll probably... No, 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 not the helmet. Something else that I will use for the continuity, like, for the rest of this series. In fact, I might have been down to, like, switch it up. Our pet's about to explode as well. Let's have a look at what we got here. Uh, as far as chest blades, do we have another... That's all right. Like, it's got the captain enchants and whatnot. I, like I said, I really want to go with a paladin's chest plate. It's a legendary item for a reason. And uh, it normally is one of the best in slots. Uh, let's have a look here. Hmm. I just want to find a good leggings. A good leggings. Necromancer, Aegis. It's actually a pretty good leggings. Let's have a look at that one in a bit. This is our supply of leggings that me and Vic have sort of, like, gathered up over the episodes. Dodge three pants. Huh. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty good. It's got no interest. It's going to dodge three. Um, someone else is looking at me on the other side. What do you want, buddy? Uh, yep. Honestly, these are the best pants I can find out of all these. So, let's go ahead and... Did I buy the rune? Yeah, but I bought the rune. Okay, good. Um, oh, let's have a look at these. Thorns, Rift Control. Nah, these look good. I like these runes. These runes are good. Um, so, let's go ahead first and fix these one up. It's got Necromancer. It's got Aegis. Extra Aegis. What happened? Oh! It... Yes! We got the cow pet! Yes! Alrighty! So there we go! A brand new pet to the army. The cow pet removes all negative potion effects. We only need three more from the common. Oh, it's going to be tough getting these. I might even start trading for pets, although they're going to be kind of expensive to get the pets already because you have to buy them off players and yeah they're gonna know and a pig one apparently is like a maxed pig goes for a lot of money apparently like training up pets is a legitimate like thing you can buy pets get them up levels and sell them for like extra money it's kind of cool so i don't think anyone the ah is selling pets at this time it's, a, it's quite a quiet time right now it's very very bad like no one i know on youtube is on skype right now uh, i don't even know why vax on at this time but so uh, there we go brand new cow pet the uh the pet race has continued a little bit further but Let's see if we can keep this roll going. 36% chance. Let's go. Yes. We got it. Dodge three boots. That's what I like to see. Upgrading the set. Let's go. Alrighty. Let's put these back into the chest of uh, things. Now let's have a look at our boots. Okay. The boots are something that we want to try. Oh. Bruh. Legend. Whoa. Okay. Protection 2, that's bad. Uh, we can always get that up, though, with vanilla. So that's not an issue. We can combine other ones to get a, a extra protection on breaking levels. Speed 2, kind of meh. There's a lot of enchants that don't really do much for us in terms of PvP. They're more just like rifts. But we're going to be doing a lot of rifts in the future as well. And a lot of war zoning. Uh, so that might be a kind of essential item. Diamond Boots of Lachlan. So someone, I think, named these Lachlan. And they've got them up. Bless 2, Pyro 4, Necro... Really not that great. Uh, let's keep moving on here in the boot section. I want to try and find one with jump and speed. They normally go for a lot. Uh, there we go. Pirate sea legs. Jump two, speed one. Nah. Need something better than that. Come on, guys. I mean, if I have to... Oh! Jump, jump three, speed three. Holy damn. Combat... Yeah. Combat plate mail boots, boys. There we freaking go. Um... Yeah, speed three, jump three. If I could have got put a dodge rune on that, that'd be best. All right, no, let's change that one out. I'm just picking the best stuff here because I know Vic has got most of the pickings already. So this one has speed three, protection three, and shadow step. Shadow step, it saved my life like in one episode, but I don't think it's that essential to have. I need to make sure these guys are getting XP because we're almost about to get the level two speed upgrade on our chicken pet. And you can get him up to, I think... At level, at his max level, he gives speed 4, which nothing in the game gives speed 4 apart from the chicken and the spider as well. So, it can be used to advantage, but it really isn't... Like, speed 4 is borderline broken. This is speed 3 and jump 3. Look at that. It's just... And it also allows you, like, when you're doing raids as well. Like, if you remember back when we were trying to do that blaze raid, trying to get inside of that uh, base, like, you had to use ender pearls. Or, if you had jump 3 or 4, you could just jump up and get it easily yourself. Um, so this is what I've spent doing the last hour, literally just breaking these blazes down to try and get uh, money. And the other big part about this is the XP. Currently, XP serves no function. And I'm going to give a little bit of a spoiler on the update for this weekend. I'm just going to say, guys, maybe um, maybe get maybe get down to the blazes and get some XP. Because XP might do something this weekend. That's what I'm saying. At the moment, the only fe uh, current feature it actually has is to uh, allow you to actually um, pretty much go ahead and uh, uh, 
Uh, do the, the the vanilla enchants to combine armor. Wow, Vic did not AFK the cow grinder. I told him to AFK the, the cow grinder today, and he didn't do it. Vic, Vic, Vic. How are these not burning, by the way? Ugh, that's annoying. And there's someone on the other side. Actually, I remember keeping a, uh, a set home on the other side of my place. Let me see. I could... What's his name? It's... Spewguard123. And he's trying to trade with me in the chat. Let's trade with him. He's a complete stranger. Uh, he's a complete stranger on the other side of the wall. What does he want? What does he, what do you want Spewguard123? No, no, I'm not, I'm not taking your, you're not taking your handouts. I'm not taking your handouts, but I will, I will take it from you. I don't know. IGs are too much. I, I think it's too much for me this episode. Let me just see. I want to try and get, okay, I don't want to lose my stuff here. Because what I'm thinking is that, because I've, I've seen these guys here time and time and time again. So I set up a thing above me so that I can come down and wreck these guys when they're in here. So let me just put away all my good stuff. Um, uh, yeah, let's take, let's take off our armor. Let's take off our armor. Because I don't want to lose this armor. I've just, you know, spent this episode getting it up. I want, like, makeshift armor. Let's go whatever we'll do let's do let's do let's let's pounce this guy i'm sick of people being outside of our house i'm gonna come and clean him up uh so what was it i, I said a home i set it to top and that puts me on top of the base and then this is it right here i want to see if he's there and maybe i could take that ig from him oh, oh, oh where is he where is he where is he i don't see him anywhere oh there he is there he is can we aerial ace him oh guys here we go here we go here we go oh no oh fail Fail. Top again. Go again. Go again. I don't know if he saw us. 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 <laughs> I don't know if he saw us. Alright, wait, wait, there we go. Whoa, where'd he go? 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 Where did he go? I think he disappeared. No? He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. You see him? Yeah, I see him. Alright, I have to. I have to. I have to, I have to jump. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I have to go back. I have to go back. <laughs> I can't believe that. Wait, 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 wait. I have to do this quickly. I have to do this quickly. I have to grab an ender pearl and I have to go F home top and I have to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't believe that. Uh, I don't know if he saw that though. At home top. I can't believe that. I had to do the leap of faith. I had to cut his throat off like midair. That would have been so hype if I'd done that though. Uh, let me just try and avoid him right there and just go like that. All right. So hopefully they didn't see that. He's still looking the other way. No, don't look that way. Oh no! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! It didn't. It, oh my god! Alrighty. That is just, just bad luck. That, that's bad luck. All right. That you can't really say anything else. I really hope they didn't clear items yet. Uh, home, home, top, please. Oh my God. If he sees me again this time, this is kind of really freaking terrible. I will not lie. Um, all right, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. And you know what? Just go. All right. And, oh, he saw me. No, you can't see me. You can't see. Oh, for crying out loud. Where's the water? Where's the water? Where's the water? There it is. All right, here we go. Oh no, I can't go up there. I'm going to die. Um, all right, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? It's like, it's trash stuff, so I don't really care. Now there's ice suffocating me. This isn't happening, is it? This is actually happening? Is this happening? Did I speak to people and did they say it was happening? Because I think this is happening. I'm literally unable to get out of here because I'm stuck between lava and a bad place. Okay, this time I'm going to bring a golden apple with me. I should have just PB'd out my golden apple. Uh, so let me just try this again. Let's just go like that. Just please actually work. Uh-oh. Did I see another golden? Like, we missed our chance with Spoogard. Oh, no, don't pick up my stuff. Oh, Spoogard. You picked it up, didn't you? You picked it up. Now I have to... Did you pick it up? I have to... Wait. PV1. 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 Kill confirm. Hey, Spoogard. Guess what? I got a sword. <laughs> oh, you didn't pick it up. Oh no. You know, some people can call me bad at Minecraft and PvP, and sometimes I'll accept it. This is one of those times where I will maybe accept it. Um, <laughs> uh, I, oh no, Spoo Guy's got a weapon too! He probably wants my head. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, thanks for the sword, buddy. Oh no, I'm gonna die again. No, please, please. All right, what sword did I just get then? Is that a really good sword? I will take it. What do I get? Oh no, that's, that's the one border. What do you get for me? What do you get for me? Uh, that's a pretty bad sword. He's got like a home set here. I wonder. Wait, let me put on this iron helmet. There's like a chest here. I don't know why. That's just the battle with Spoogard. Oh, there he is. He's back. Wait, I need a bow and arrow for this one. Oh, I got a bow, but I need a kit starter. Give me an arrow. I haven't done it in a while. Starter. You know what? Let's fight. Let's fight, Spoogard. Bang. Oh, I missed. No. 
No, come here. Hey. Oh, that was so close. That's not. Come on. Oh, that looked good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh damn it, he got me. I hope he didn't get my head then. Damn it, he dropped so quickly just then. Alright, Spoogar, that's fine. I'm just glad I put away all my good stuff and didn't lose it. Like, I'm glad I take these precautions now. I think. No, I didn't even lose my looting sword. Didn't even lose my good sword. This is kind of. Wait, I lost both of my kill confirmed swords, so that kind of sucks. Um, but. I still have a trophy axe, so it doesn't really matter. In fact, this was better for that because it actually deals damage, whereas the uh, the swords, they just, they just, they don't really do anything at all. Um, so that's fine and dandy. I'm not too uh, annoyed about that. But uh, anyways, let's uh, wrap up this episode. It's been quite a crazy episode. I don't know, I kind of like doing these solo episodes every now and again. Let me know if you guys like them as well. Um, it's just nice to, uh, you know, build up our personal set because I, I don't want to talk over Vic when I'm trying to you know, build up my set and whatnot. And this is the start of it. This is the start of it for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, to wrap up this episode, let's buy some mythic key. Let's buy, let's buy a set of mythic keys. I don't know. We did well with the amount of money we made from all that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, do it. We'll probably lose all of our money back. So let's go three mythic keys. Thank you. Oh, we'll have to get uh, back to restock that. That's for sure. Uh, so hopefully... Look, as far as things I want to aim for, Golden Knife is obviously number one. You, like, I don't even know. I spoke to the fashion the other day, and they were like, we don't know anyone that has a Golden Knife. People joke about having it, but it's just such a rare item. It's it's no one knows who has it. So let's do it. To wrap up the episode, hopefully we got some Mythic War Crate luck. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Witch Spawner, I don't even know there's a thing. How much do they work? I think we might have lost money on that. Let me have a check. Because I've never seen a faction have a witch spawner. And nor do I think they sell for much. You literally can't even buy witch spawners. Okay. Maybe they would be actually kind of a meta to grind. Because you just get all this random potions. Anyway, moving on. Let's go again. Uh, let's see what else we can get. So that's kind of... I don't know how much witch spawners are going to be. Everyone knows I'm here now. Because it's come up in the chat. Second mythic loot crate. Bang. A god armor set. That's a bit of lost money right there. We have armor better than a god armor set at this stage but it's definitely something to keep around for when i want to try and kill spoo guards outside my base so uh let me put that away and hey these efficiency picks and whatnot aren't too bad that's all right i guess that's uh, it's, it's lost money like i said we're probably gonna lose money we'll have to hope that witch spawner comes in clutch here we go let's do it let's hit us with something and here we go it's a blaze spawner hell yes profit clear cut profit boys there we go i hope you have enjoyed boys and girls i should say i hope you have enjoyed today's episode that's a big one right there they sell for 200k or nearly 200k but i don't think you can sell them for as much so we definitely profited there that was actually really good better than the other one i had before that's actually better than a creeper i think in terms of worth not too sure but i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode if you guys did be sure to leave a like rating down below and i'll catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode later guys